is how do we get more 48-year-olds involved in the sport without costing the parents an arm and a leg to try it. And so we came up with the idea, having been in the lobby a couple of times in here, that uh, you know Billy's mom didn't bring in the juice box today, and they walk out going, can you believe that? She forgot the juice box. And I kept thinking, juice box, if that's what they're here for, let's bring them in, let's create the program, give them an hour of ice, and see how many kids that we can get in the program, give them the, through the one-goal program, give them the equipment, and make it cost-free and let them try it. With the kids that could skate comfortably, they didn't really need much help. They they could get around by themselves. So I kind of ran that area as a three different station practice. One was a skating drill, one was a shooting drill, uh, and another one was a passing drill. So we kind of implicated most of the ADM model of USA Hockey into letting the kids get a taste of it than the kids that needed a little bit more help, that needed assistance, we kind of ran it like a learn to skate program class. Usually we have learn to skate instructors out there that kind of run it like a basic snowplow Sam 1 class. And we just finished up with uh, like sharks and minnows, some kind of a fun game that the kids just loved to have, had a ball with. It's just a great opportunity to, to get kids out and let them get the exposure, the initial exposure to hockey to determine whether or not they want to continue it or not. And, and the turnout's been great, which is really what we want, you know. It, it lowers the barrier for, for kids to come out and try it at, you know, no cost. And uh, if they like it, they can continue on. If they don't, then, you know, no harm done. I think snow stops. How to skate fast and how to do circles and stuff. Um. I think it was a great introduction to, uh, to hockey for, for the little guy. You know, I think this is a good first opportunity for him to see what it's like on the ice. He's excited to come here. We have soccer uh, just before this, and he's, he's fired up to come to Juice Box Hockey right after. I think we'll be back in the fall. Owen has uh, liked to come home sweaty and look how cool his hockey hair is, and he's learned a lot, and his skating's improved a lot, and he's a lot quicker than five or six weeks ago. <laughs> Because it's fun and you get to learn stuff. Um, he looked forward to it every single week. So he counted down the days every week until it was here, until Saturday was here. Now he definitely wants to play come the fall on an actual team. So it made it a lot easier for me to see whether he really wanted to or not. A ball, a puck, and a soccer ball. Stick handling and passing. Real fun. Our job is just starting. It's going to be retention. If you retain 30 for teams, you've got that lifeblood now for the next generation moving up through skirts and, and whatever. <laughs>